Hello friends, I am Bishwadeep. Welcome to my channel Click to Express and today we will be discussing on synthetic keys and circular reference. So let's see what are those. So what is synthetic key? As, as we know that there should be one to one link between two tables or we can say it like associativity between two tables should be based on only one column. So uh, the associativity happens in click based on your column names. So if two tables having more than one column name same then it forms a synthetic key. So what happens be because of this is the reloading time increases and because of which the performance decrease. So as you can see over here these two table having more than one column name same employee number and employee name and it is forming a synthetic table. Coming to the circular reference, the circular reference is when you have three or more tables are linked in such a way that it forms a loop or a circle. So this causes data discrepancy and also uh, 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 also this is an error. So suppose uh, suppose you have uh, three tables manager, department and employee and you can see the department is getting linked with the department employee number with employee number and this employee name is getting linked back with the manager. So this is forming a loop and this causes a data discrepancy. So let's see how this is gonna happen. So I'll move to my application. I'll take the second tab. So let's take the two tables. I'll go here. Go to the source dummy table source circular reference and I'll take first two sheets so you can see I have already opened these two sheets and you can see both the table having employee number and employee name common so there are but there are more than one column name which is same so if I name if I load this table now so let's first name the table so let this be your department table and the first table as employee table. So if I reload this data, you will see here it will shows a, shows an error that there is synthetic key forming between these two tables. So if you want to see the table view of it, so you can see there is a synthetic table forming which needs to be removed so there is a synthetic table forming similarly now let's check what is circular reference so I'll go load the third table load the third table and I have my third table as okay so my third table is this and I'll just name it as like manager M A N A G E R manager table and now you will see there's employee name getting linked with the employee name so let's remove this employee name so that the synthetic key doesn't form let's see what gonna happen now so you have a employee number linking with employee number and you have a you you have this uh, employee name which is present over here also and then you have a department which is linking the manager and department table with department so what is happening this table is linked twice and forming a loop so if you see if you load the data now you see that there is a error getting popped up saying that there is a circular reference forming so if you check over here you can see very clearly the manager is linked with the other two table in a loop so this is this is a error or you can um, say this shouldn't this shouldn't be there and should be avoided so what are the different ways with which you can avoid it the the ways are you can comment the column comment the column you can give, you can rename the column you can uh, eliminate or remove the column also what you can do is you can join 
concatenate also q u a l i qualify and unqualify the table so you can comment a column rename a column remove a column join concatenate and qualify the tables so let's see these three things in this session we will be discussing these in details in the forthcoming sessions so how to comment rename and remove so in click you can comment a column by giving a, for, a backward slash sorry forward slash you can remove a column simply like uh, by removing it like i am removing the employee name from here i can directly remove this column from here so you can comment that column you can remove that column and the third thing is you can rename the column so let's rename this column and how to rename it is just putting an as e m p l o y e employee name and you can you can give it any other name also so now this name doesn't match with this so if you reload the data you will see there is no synthetic key or circular reference forming and you will see there is only one link between these two so that's all in this session thank you have a nice day